Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video, we're going to have a look at a teacher guide to Microsoft Teams reading progress. Now, this is a new feature inside of Microsoft Teams assignments, which allows you to assign a passage of text to students that they can be then read out on a camera to you or using a microphone. And what it will allow you to do is look at the fluency of how well they can understand and read that text passage out. I hope you find this video useful. And if you do, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really does help. Thank you. So let's have a look at the teacher view first. So to enable reading progress, we need to go into the assignment section on our Microsoft Teams and then choose the create button. From here, we choose the assignment option and then we'll see the regular assignment options just as usual. And we're gonna enter a title in here just for as an example, this one's gonna be called the reading progress. And then we're gonna attach a file. But what we're gonna do is actually attach reading progress. And this is how you get started. What you can then do is you choose two options. You can upload your own Word documents or browse a sample library of various text. We're going to use the sample library in this example, but you can upload your own. Let's have a preview of this A Tornado Is Coming. That looks absolutely fine. That's the one I'm going to use, so I'm going to select it. So you're selecting a passage of text for students to read out. What we're going to do then is we can choose different passages by clicking here, or we can also edit this if it's a piece of word that we've done, or we can even click student view and we can have a look at how this looks for students when they submit it. So you can click start and work through this. We'll have a proper look at the student view in a moment. I'm just going to exit the student view now and what you'll see on the right hand side is you can set reading levels and the genre and you can also select the number of temps and the punctuation sensitivity as well. I tend to leave these on default and you can also choose whether or not you want the students to have video while they're reading it out. And then we're just going to submit this to our students. So you'll see here that's been assigned that specific bit. And then what we need to do is just do the regular assignment things such as adding points, what students we want to assign it to, when it's due, etc. And then choose assign. So it assigns reading progress as an assignment. So let's have a look at the student view now. So here you'll see the assignment as a student and I can actually click on the my work, a tornado is coming to submit it just like regular Word documents. And I'll click allow to enable my camera. So as a student now, I can actually see my camera's working on my microphone and then choose start. What will happen then is I can read this out and what will happen is I'm reading now, I'm gonna make a few intentional mistakes just for an example. Once I'm done, I click done, and then I can choose whether or not I want to reuse this recording or use a different one and re-enable it. So once I've done that as a student, I then choose the hand in button. So as a student, that's my work done now. I have read out the passage of text and handed it in. You'll see here now the student has handed it in as a teacher, uh, the teacher view, and this is what comes up. So this comes up for every one of your students. You can choose auto detect to use artificial intelligence to analyze the reading out. And that works really, really well. And it helps the teacher mark uh, the work the student submitted. And you can also go through the text while playing the video to see if the students have read it out correctly. If anything's been missed off, you can choose this yourself, such as a mispronunciation, and you just click the words. And you can choose all sorts of different options, such as a student's missed something out, they've added extra words, they've repeated themselves, they've done a self-correction. If they've added an extra word, you can even edit text and actually insert the extra text the student read out. So for example, here, uh, the student may have inserted quickly or read, read quickly out. Okay, so you can actually insert that in. You can click on these as well. And if the artificial intelligence picks something up and you think it's correct, you can overwrite that. And you can actually select other things as well that AI might not have picked out. Again, you don't have to use auto detect. You can do all of this manually. Selecting the word will actually read it straight out to you at that point as well, so you can go to it. Once you've done this, you click the feedback and click submit um, and return that submission to the students and they can then get this and view the feedback. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend, it really helps.